I'm honored to be here today to congratulate each SUNY Poly graduate and academic awardee for your steadfast efforts leading you to this milestone. I hope you can take a moment to consider every person who has stood by your side, supporting and pushing you toward this moment. And I encourage you to thank all who played a role, your parents, siblings, maybe your children, aunts or uncles, your family. I hope you will also reach out to a mentor you may have had. Teachers, friends, call them, text them, thank them. I want to join you in gratitude. I'm so thankful for our incredible student, faculty, and staff community for all they have done to make this day possible. I'm especially grateful for their efforts during the past 15 months to keep us safe in the midst of the global pandemic, to adapt teaching and learning styles to reflect our joint responsibilities to each other, and to remain resilient, adapting to the pandemic's inconveniences. And yet, with all this, the pandemic brought far more than inconvenience. I hope you can join me in reflecting on all those who have lost loved ones during the pandemic. For too many, it has been a time of pain and uncertainty. Against this backdrop, I found inspiration from Youth Poet Laureate Amanda Gorman's inaugural poem when she reminded us that somehow we've weathered and witnessed a nation that isn't broken, but simply unfinished. We seek harm to none and harmony for all. Let the globe, if nothing else, say this is true, that even as we grieved, we grew that even as we hurt, we hoped. I believe these words also describe the legacy you, our SUNY Poly graduates, leave behind. Our Wildcat community met the challenges we faced. You achieved academically while we committed to taking care of each other. While we must continue to be careful, normalcy is returning to our academic and everyday lives. Prospective students tour the campus. A number of sports have resumed competition. And we worked hard to provide an individualized in-person commencement. While it may not be what you imagined when you first arrived, I am sure it will be one we will never forget. I hope you can look back fondly at how you helped your community in its time of need. You fabricated thousands of face shields to protect frontline workers during the height of the pandemic. SUNY Poly housed a New York State Department of Health COVID-19 vaccination site at our Utica campus, where tens of thousands have been vaccinated. If you haven't already, I hope you will also choose to help accelerate the recovery from this crisis by getting vaccinated yourself and encourage everybody you know to do so. Additionally, our research, researchers pursued development of a mask that kills viruses on contact, including COVID-19, along with a 30-minute COVID-19 antibody test. Once again, Amanda Gorman's poetry rings true to me when she asked, how could we possibly prevail over catastrophe? Now we assert, how could catastrophe possibly prevail over us? Knowing that while you pursue your next endeavor, we are committed to a stronger future for your alma mater as we move forward. This starts with as much of an in-person return in the fall as is feasible. SUNY Poly is now ideally positioned to reach even more students of all backgrounds who are now more likely to turn to online and hybrid academic options that respond to their real world needs. We dedicate ourselves to meeting students where they are, facilitating economic opportunities and social mobility while expanding programs in in-demand 21st century areas, such as our new Doctor of Nursing Practice, the online MS in Health Informatics, and the online BS in Business Administration. As you embark on your next chapter, I hope you leave here not only filled with pride in what you have accomplished, 
but also with the knowledge that your contributions to SUNY Poly enable us to enhance future students' experiences. I feel deeply committed to the idea that our upcoming accomplishments will continue to bring increased luster to your degree. Gorman's inaugural poem concluded by telling us, when day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it, if only we're brave enough to be it. As you take with you all you have learned at SUNY Poly, the experiences you have gained, the pride of your new degree, and a greater belief in yourself because of the challenges you've overcome, I hope you realize the strength you have to prevail, to forge ahead, and pursue your dreams as you seek to realize the full promise of a life still unfinished. We are so deeply proud of you. We wish you all the success and happiness life can offer and hope to see you return to campus soon. Thank you and congratulations. To the graduating class of 2021, today we celebrate over 90,000 graduating SUNY students. I know this is not how you expected your final semester to have gone. Since March of last year, as the world went into quarantine and we began a new normal of social distancing and masking up, you had to adapt to the uncertainties of what was to come to juggle new responsibilities, all while continuing on the path of completing your education. In the face of a global health crisis, you persevered. Whether it was making the transition to online learning, having to move back home to continue your studies, or not being able to be with your friends, teammates, and a favorite faculty and staff member. And despite it all, many of you stepped up to help out your campuses on the front lines with their COVID-19 efforts, from volunteering with testing, to administering vaccines, to providing academic support to those struggling with remote learning. You made sure that your communities were being taken care of. That is who SUNY is. That's who you are. You also created art, conducted research, and found your passions. You did it all, and I know it hasn't been easy. But today we celebrate your hard-earned and well-deserved degree. Although many of our campuses are unable to celebrate this important milestone with you, with all the pop and circumstance that you deserve, let it be known that we are all so proud of the class of 2021. The grit and determination you have shown to complete your studies, no matter the obstacles thrown in your way. You are to be admired, lauded, and always remembered. I'll cherish the opportunities I've had this year to meet so many of you, both in person and virtually, and to hear your inspiring stories. Like Madison Cunningham, who I met at my visit to Corning Community College, who was creating a toy for children with sensory processing disorders using 3D printing, and volunteers her time at the local hospital. Or Ilion Alexandre, a first-generation U Albany student and a recipient of the Norman R. McConney Jr. Award for Student Excellence, who hopes to continue on to medical school and work in emergency medicine. And Ramatu Muhammad, a SUNY Potsdam International Studies major and diversity ambassador who will be continuing her studies at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. Or Jacob Eckhaus from Binghamton University, who through the Student Voices Action Committee helped create the Food Pantry Refrigeration Grant Program for all SUNY campuses. Or Kaylee Hosrath of SUNY Geneseo, who stepped up as a student volunteer using her training as an operations chief for Geneseo First Response EMT Service when all students had to be tested before leaving for Thanksgiving break. And Darian Hunt from Farmingdale State College, who recently received the inaugural Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence for being a champion of racial justice and equity on his campus. And Omar Guy, who grew up in Gambia and who is now completing his studies at Sullivan. As you all look toward the future, know that your SUNY education has prepared you to succeed in whatever you put your mind to, whether it be furthering your education or joining the workforce. You and your fellow graduates will continue the SUNY legacy of leaving a positive impact on your communities, always striving to solve for our world's most pressing problems and being stewards of excellence and innovation. As the newest members of the three million strong SUNY alumni family, I wish you luck as you start this exciting next chapter in your life and I look forward to seeing all that you accomplish. I know you will do great things. Congratulations. 
Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, and first of all, my heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2021 and to all the people, your family, your friends, your professors who helped you make it here today. Surely a year ago when the class of 2020 was denied their rite of passage with an in-person graduation, you thought by the time you graduate, the pandemic would be gone and life would be back to normal, right? Well, here we are. Yet despite enduring uncertainty and setbacks for more than a year of COVID, you still met the rigorous academic standards required to earn a diploma from a great New York State institution. But far more than the academics that every class before you and those that follow have to meet, your education, particularly since 2020, has been utterly unique. Each of you are now qualified to teach a master class in adaptability essential life skills and resiliency. Not sure? Just hear me out. You are now entering into a world which has been radically altered. Forces beyond our control have changed our economy, our society, and indeed have changed each and every one of us. You are now bonded with others in the class of 2021 across the nation in a shared moment in history that will define a generation. And I guarantee that at your 50th reunion You'll be talking about what you endured, the sacrifices you made, how you missed your classmates and your professors, how you had the additional hardship of finishing your education through enormous stress. But through it all, missing the final days with your friends and the celebration of graduation, you endured. And it is that endurance, resiliency, and a toughness coupled with compassion and a newfound appreciation for people in all walks of life from healthcare workers to grocery store cashiers to countless fellow citizens who selflessly rose to meet the occasion. All of this has built a foundation for your character that will serve you for as long as you live. You may not feel like it yet, but your experience surviving the global pandemic of 2020-2021 is a rock upon which you will measure all future challenges, setbacks, and whatever life throws your way. Just like the greatest generation who endured and survived the Great Depression and World War II, you and members of your class have the potential to be a generation that is held in esteem and awe for the grit and spirit of determination that got you to this graduation today. These traits will carry you forward into a world of uncertainty, yet one of unlimited possibility. Once you walk across the virtual stage, you'll be entering a whole new era one where we have far more questions than answers. But as a college educated adult, you will now be called upon to help shape the answers to the burning questions of the day. Like how do we eradicate racial and social injustice? How do we foster more inclusivity for marginalized communities? How will we meet the challenge of climate change? How do we address the future of work and workplaces? How do we solve the healthcare inequities and better prepare for the next viruses that are sure to come? You are needed to help define our post-pandemic world and to answer these questions. Now, our country is turning to you, our next generation for inspiration and hope as you build your own legacy and strive toward a more just, civil and inclusive society. So more than just wearing a cap and tassel on your head, you also now wear the weight of these responsibilities on your shoulders. Class of 2021, as the curtain of social distancing and isolation begins to lift, more and more are vaccinated and we venture out from this period of darkness. Use your newly acquired education as the launch pad to lift off from and soar high. Use your passion and your most recent experiences to help shape our post-pandemic society into one that promotes generosity love and kindness. That's exactly what this world needs right now. And your fellow New Yorkers are counting on you to help lead the way. Congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. Hello, SUNY Polytechnic Institute. This is Senator Chuck Schumer. And it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, the families and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, the class of 2021. Congratulations. Now, I'm really sorry I can't join you in person as I do almost every year, but I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this graduation day. You are special, 
and I wouldn't want to miss congratulating you, COVID or not. First, a quick word to the parents. As a parent myself, I know how hard it is to raise kids these days and how much you've invested in them, but it all pays off as you watch your son or daughter receive their diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Congratulations to the moms and dads. And now to the class of 2021. You know, everyone says your senior year in college will be the most memorable. And for many of you, it probably has been, but certainly not in the way you expected. With COVID affecting our nation's health, our nation's economy and your senior year, these have been unusual and difficult times. The challenges of this moment are truly unique, but so has been our collective response. The fact that we're still celebrating this graduation and not letting COVID stand in the way, even if we're celebrating differently, just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything stop us from honoring what's so important in life. And nothing, nothing can take away from the fact that you've earned a degree from such a fine institution of higher learning. We have a long way to go, but for the first time in more than a year, we can start to think about what it will be like to return to normal. We're beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel, thanks to safe and highly effective vaccines. They're nothing short of a medical miracle, and I'm proud to have helped lead the way in Congress by prioritizing vaccine research, production, and most of all, distribution, so that everyone who wants a vaccine can now get one. And as Senate Majority Leader, the first ever from New York, I worked hard to pass the American Rescue Plan which is putting money in the pockets of people and small businesses who have been hurt by this crisis and helping our society recover in so many different ways. And now I'm pushing President Biden to forgive $50,000 in student loans, a crushing burden for millions of college graduates around the nation. With a flick of a pen, he could wipe this debt clean and create a brighter future for so many people, including many of you. So class of 2021, my message to you is simple. Right now, it may feel like the future is uncertain. Many of you may be not sure of what you're going to do next, but what has been true throughout history is just as true today. That even in times of difficulty, there are always new opportunities, new ways of thinking, of doing things in a better way. It's natural to fear the unknown. I'm sure many of you do right now. But don't let the harshness of this past year prevent you from seizing new opportunities. They're out there. You just have to keep your eyes open to them. And don't forget, you have incredible assets, a college degree from a great institution, and loving families who will have your back through thick and thin. Our nation is overcoming this pandemic, and we need your help and your courage to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. This past year's year has revealed the injustices and prejudices that persist in our society. And we just can't go back to the way things used to be. We must make our society better, and we know we will, because you are our future leaders, and we have faith in you. So to SUNY Polytechnic Class of 2021, I say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. My heartfelt congratulations to the class of 2021. I'm Mary Beth Lyons, Vice President for Student Affairs, and it is such a privilege to share this important occasion with you and your families. Your accomplishments are many, and I know that you will continue to make us proud as you leave us for new opportunities. Someone who has worked to create opportunities for you and the SUNY Poly community is Giovanni Harvey, SUNY Poly's SGU president and junior in the Communication and Information Design program. Gio and members of the SGU Senate have worked tirelessly to bring programming and opportunities for you to engage with each other during the past year. I am proud to introduce Giovanni Harvey, your SGU president. Hello all, my name is Giovanni Harvey and I'm the 2020-2021 Student Government at Utica President and I'm honored to be here with you today for your commencement. All of you from the SUNY Poly graduating class of 2021 should be very proud of your accomplishments. Your contributions in the field of business, health, engineering, sciences, and the arts, you will all have done your part in maintaining the communities in which you live, as well as made your school proud. This past year has been a year that no one has ever experienced before. 
The pandemic disrupted our everyday lives and ultimately our college experience for a short while. Nonetheless, you all remain committed, resilient, and determined to finish your degrees. You, have, you all have a lot to be proud of, and even though we cannot gather like we usually do, I want you to know that the entire student body and campus community are incredibly proud of the graduating class of 2021 and all that you stand for. With the knowledge you have gained in the two or four years inside and outside of the classroom, there are no limits to how successful you can be. The only limits are those placed on yourself. As you all go forth today in the noble pursuit of your careers, don't forget where you came from. Grad or congratulations, class of 2021, you did it. As graduates of the State University of New York, you represent yourself and your school as well. Show the world what we can do and do it so that to the absolute best of your abilities. I would like to end with a quote from Malcolm X. Education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Class of 2021, congratulations, you did it. Hello, my name is Gabby Sordo and I am the Treasurer of Student Government at Utica. I am here to present this year's class gift on behalf of the class of 2021. I want to take a moment to thank the class gift committee and everyone who put time into choosing the gift that will be given to the campus. On behalf of the graduating class and with student input, the committee has chosen to enhance the campus appearance by beautifying the LED sign in front of the student center. They will be adding a nice brick surround to the columns as well as landscaping to go along with it. In addition, there will also be two bike repair stations set up, which will provide more ease to students who use their bikes around campus. Thank you to the committee for your hard work and congratulations, class of 2021. Hi, I'm Steve Schneider, interim provost for SUNY Poly. I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize those students who have achieved a very high level of academic success in their programs of study. We honor our students who have been challenged and have achieved success and excellence across our academic programs. We're also grateful for the encouragement of their family and friends and their faculty who have played a critical role in their success. All of you have achieved greatness while at SUNY Poly. You have enviable abilities. So as you leave and face new challenges, we ask you to keep one thing in mind. Whatever dreams you follow, whatever actions you take, Use your talents to make the world a better place to live. Whether it be in your workplace, your community, on a global scale, please use your skills, abilities, and passion to make a difference.
upon the recommendation of the faculty and the graduate council and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the college council the board of trustees of the state university of new york and by the board of regents of the university of the state of new york i confer upon those of you who are found qualified the respective degrees of master of business administration master of science Certificate of Advanced Study, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Professional Studies, and Bachelor of Science, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. I'm Andrew Russell, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. I will begin the presentation of candidates for the conferral of degrees. President Larson. It is my honor to present the candidates for the degrees of Master of Science with a major in Information Design and Technology, Bachelor of Science with a major in Applied Mathematics, Bachelor of Science with a, with a major in Biology, Bachelor of Science with a major in Communication and Information Design, Bachelor of Science with a major in Interactive Media and Game Design, Bachelor of Arts with a major in Interdisciplinary Studies, Bachelor of Arts with a major in Psychology, Bachelor of Arts with a major in Sociology. These candidates have satisfied, subject to verification, the requirements for their respective degrees. Upon recommendation of the faculty and the Graduate Council, I now present them to you for the conferring of the degrees. My name is Arthur Liu, Dean of the College of Business. President Larson, it is my honor to present the candidates for the degrees of Master of Business Administration with a major in Technology Management, Master of Science with a major in Accountancy, Certificate of Advanced Study in Forensic Accounting and Valuation. Bachelor of Science with a major in Accounting, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Science with a major in Business Administration, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Science in Finance. These candidates have satisfied, subject to verification, the requirements for their respective degrees. Upon recommendation of the faculty and the graduate council, I now present them to you for the conferring of the degrees.
Hi, I'm Michael Carpenter, Dean of the College of Engineering. President Larson, it is my honor to present the candidates for the degrees of Master of Science with a major in Computer and Information Science, Master of Science with a major in Network and Computer Security, major, Master of Science with a major in Telecommunications, Bachelor of Science with a major in Applied Computing, Bachelor of Science with a major in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science with a major in Civil Engineering Technology, Bachelor of Science with a major in Computer and Information Science, Bachelor of Science with a major in Computer Engineering Technology, Bachelor of Science with a major in Computer Information Systems, Bachelor of Science with a major in Electrical and Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science with a major in Electrical Engineering Technology, Bachelor of Science with a major in Industrial Engineering Technology, Bachelor of Science with a major in Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Science with a major in Mechanical Engineering Technology, Bachelor of Science with a major in Network and Computer Security. These candidates have satisfied, subject to verification, the requirements for their respective degrees. Upon recommendation of the faculty and the Graduate Council, I now present them to you for the conferring of the degrees. Good day. I am Dr. Joanne Joseph, and I am the Dean of the College of Health Sciences. President Larson, it is my honor to present the candidates for the following degrees. Master of Science with a major in Family Nurse Practitioner. Master of Science with a major in Nursing Education. Certificate of Advanced Study in Family Nurse Practitioner, Bachelor of Science with a major in Community and Behavioral Health, Bachelor of Professional Studies, and Bachelor of Science with a major in Health Information Management, Bachelor of Science with a major in Nursing. These candidates have satisfied, subject to verification, 
the requirements for their respective degrees. Upon recommendation of the faculty and the graduate council, I now present them to you for the conferring of the degrees. Good day, I'm Dr. Mark Montgomery, Chief Diversity Officer here at SUNY Polytechnic Institute and a proud alumnus. Today is a monumental day and one that you will never forget. Today is about new beginnings and we couldn't be more proud of you as you will join the more than 27,000 members of the SUNY Poly alumni family. I hope that you will consider yourself a proud alum as I do. I have the distinct privilege of introducing this year's alumni speaker, Elias Zina. Elias graduated in 2017 with a bachelor's degree in business administration and in 2019 with his master's degree in business administration. After spending many years working at his family's business, he is now managing his own restaurant, Lafa Mediterranean by Zina's. Please join me in welcoming Elias Zina. Today marks the completion of your studies and your start as a new degree holder. It is our hope that you will always be proud of SUNY Poly just as we are proud of you and that you carry the name of this institution with you as you find success in the future. As students, you had the opportunity to shape direction of SUNY Poly through the Student Association. As graduates, you can build on the SUNY Poly legacy through the Alumni Association. We hope you will become involved in the Alumni Association as it addresses alumni needs and helps shape SUNY Poly in the years ahead. Will all graduates please rise? On behalf of the Alumni Association, I congratulate you on the completion of the courses and receiving degrees that you have earned. It is my privilege and honor to lead you in a tangible gesture that symbolizes your passage from the status of students to that of graduates and alumni. At this time, will you all move the tassel on your cap from the right side to the left? Congratulations and welcome to SUNY Poly's Alumni Association. SUNY Poly graduating class of 2021, we just wanted to let you know how proud we are of you. Because of our laser focus on our future. The day we've imagined for so long is finally here. We couldn't have imagined the challenges we have all faced together along the way, but now. It's time to take a deep breath. To celebrate. And take a moment to think about how we rose to the occasion. We did it. Congratulations. May the friendships you've made at SUNY Poly last a lifetime. I wish you success, no matter what business opportunity you pursue, especially if it's your own. 
Congratulations to the class of 2021 graduates on achieving the dream that you have worked so hard to achieve over the past years. You have overcome the obstacles to get to where you are today. Congratulations, and here's to a future full of opportunity. Congratulations, class of 2021. Using all the skills you've learned while here at SUNY Poly, you will undoubtedly make a positive difference for so many people along your continuing journey. When the world needed action against the pandemic, we stepped up to help others. Keep the spirit going and remember, life is not a sprint, so enjoy the journey. Class of 2021, we made it! We're all so proud of you. Congratulations on your accomplishments at SUNY Poly and know that you will be missed. But come back often as a proud member of the SUNY Poly Alumni Association. But before you go, I want to convey on behalf of Polly just how proud we are of you, the perseverance you've showed here as you've reached the level of achievement that we're celebrating today. I encourage you to take a moment and thank those around you who have made this day possible. Your parents, your friends, your professors, your mentors, everybody who has supported you on your journey. I'm thrilled about the legacy that you leave here, and it's going to be our mission in the days and years ahead to make you proud of your alma mater. So I hope you advance from Poly, knowing the level of the contribution that you've made here, proud of your time here, and savoring the memories, and I just couldn't be more pleased for you and for the level of contribution you've made to our community. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations guys from the financial aid department. Congratulations to all the 2021 graduates. We will miss you. Good luck. It's been a tough year and uh, you guys make it. So good luck for your future. Congratulations class of 2021 from the undergrad admissions office. Congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations class of 2021. Congratulations! Congratulations, graduates. Good job and good luck. Congratulations! Congratulations to the class of 2021. We did, we did it. it! Congratulations, graduates. Congrats, seniors. Good luck in the future, guys. Congrats, class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates. Good luck in the future. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, seniors. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it! Congrats on graduation. Congratulations, graduates. Best of luck to you. Congratulations, graduates. You did it, congratulations, graduates. Well, you made it, look at what you've done. Congratulations, class 2021. Make sure you come back and visit your home away from home. 